What's going on guys, it's the Blood Monster here, and if you've already subbed to me, you know this is the type of videos I make. I make, you know, like more like funny type videos, but I just wanted to shed some light on this problem because it's it's an issue for a lot of people. And I'm not the type of person to kick a man while they're down, but Rockstar deserves to be curve stomped on their last breath. It's no secret, and quite frankly, it's obvious that they prioritize the wrong thing. Like, for example, a game-breaking bug in their games. They take their sweet precious time to fix it, but when it comes to an exploit that gives you just a little bit extra cash, they run to the rescue like Superman. The same mentality can be seen in the issue I'm going to be talking about today. And that is the issue of their servers and launcher. I tried to play Red Dead Online the other day, and I was faced with this screen here. Being that it was an error, I didn't think too much of it, so I closed the app and came back, I think it was like a few hours later or maybe the next day, and the problem was still occurring. I took to Google and tried every troubleshooting method I could possibly try, and nothing worked. But amongst all the forums I went to, there was this common theme that they were all talking about, like they were like dabbling here and there, and that was the idea of an IP ban, which makes it that way you're like your internet itself just can't connect to a Rockstar uh, server. In other words, if you're IP banned, there's no way you're playing GTA or Red Dead online on your console or even reaching the launcher website so that way you can download it on your PC. For those of you who are thinking that these actions are, are actions of a punishment, you're completely right. IP bans don't get put on people who are good sports or people who just don't mod and hack the game, obviously. IP bans are only for those who exploit the game by using, you know, cheats and stuff. And this shouldn't be happening to regular players, but it is. And it's not like these bans only last for a couple of days. These bans last for a week at least, spanning up to a month, and some of them can even be permanent. And that's a huge problem because people have sunk tons of money into this game either on shark cards, gold bar packages, or even special editions. And now they can't even play because of their internet. Now, I don't know if it's Rockstar servers that's doing this or it's anti-cheat or anti-hacker like system. But random people are getting these IP bans and Rockstar isn't doing anything about it, mainly because they don't even know what's happening. It's happening to a small portion of people, not even really a small portion, it's happening to like a handful of people. And when they get that problem, they go onto YouTube, type it up, and get a whole bunch of quick fix videos. When none of these quick fixes work, they go to Rockstar support to see if they can get some help with these issues. But unfortunately, Rockstar support isn't any more help than those YouTube videos, or even what you found on Google. In fact, you're probably going to see the same solution over and over again. If you have an IP ban, there's really only a few options. You could, one, unplug your router and hope that it could change its IP address after a while. Or you could call your internet provider and see if they could unblock, like Rockstar Services. Or you can wait it out and hope that you aren't banned permanently. If any of that sounds annoying or tedious, it's because it completely is. Rockstar doesn't help you in the slightest when you're having these issues. You kind of have to figure them out on your own. And that is the sole purpose for why I'm making this video. If you're having any issues with Rockstar, they just send you to some bullshit page where you don't get any help at all. Apparently, there's this phone line you can call. I called it myself, stood there for like 30 minutes waiting for somebody to pick up the phone. Nobody did. Apparently, there's this ticket you get, but I heard it's basically the same exact support you get without a ticket. I don't know. All I know is that Rockstar always seems to be having a problem with their games, their servers, their launcher, and they can never find a fix for neither one of these things. But again, they can take the time to, to add new content to GTA, you know, like GTA Plus or all these other DLCs, all these special packs and additions. They can always add some shit to GTA, but can never fix their bullcrap. Tell me, guys, how many times have you loaded up Minecraft and loaded into an online server and there had been a problem where you couldn't even do that. Tell me how many times you wanted to play Overwatch. You loaded up the Blizzard launcher and it told you you couldn't connect to the online portion. And you had to play it on the offline version. You could argue that all these game developers do their things differently. And that's completely true. But how come when Rockstar has these problems, they never take the time to fix them? Those errors that I showed you guys previously, people were having these problems years ago and they're still having them now. Rockstar is being lazy, and I don't want to commend them for that. I don't want to keep giving them money for recycled, half-assed content. Back in the days of old, Rockstar saw us as part of their community, but now they only see us as dollar signs. So I'll stop giving these guys money. Instead, let's do what we can to keep these guys in check. Once again, this is Blood Monster, and you'll guys be seeing me later. What's up? Can the low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. <laughs> 
Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucking with, nigga.